if there's any better way of doing things, I don't want to know. That's right. He's, <laughs> he's, uh, he's, you know, the uh, Lord is definitely not happy about no. what's going on. No. Um, no, and, and, and again, the third woe is it's coming. It's coming quickly. Oppressing the poor. All right. It's all kinds of racism. Yep. We're dealing with it. Yep. We're all part of the human race. I wish we could start looking at that. Well, the scripture says we all come of Adam. Well, and, and, and I've been raising myself lately. Uh, scholars and stuff saying we all really come out of Africa. And we, all, we, we really all come from Jerusalem. Well, the scripture well, said Abraham, the, the uh, Jerusalem is the mother of us all. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you you got it. You got it. He is bringing judgment on 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 this place. It's you know he's he's bringing a whole lot of judgment, and it's it's going to get worse before it gets better. Yeah. You got it. Scripture said, "Blessed is he that readeth." Right, that's what the word says. Blessed is he that readeth. Yeah. <laughs> and I said, have you read? And I pointed out some scriptures about fornication in First Corinthians 6. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, the Bible says a lot of things. I said, well, I think it's pretty clear. Yeah, it's very clear about, it's very, very clear. It's yeah, extremely clear. I never saw that in every year. Uh huh. Sure. It's me. A lot of, well, you know, there's a lot of hypocrites. <laughs> Whole lot of hypocrites. Either, either you know, uh, say you're a preacher, huh? Yeah, yeah. yeah. See, yeah. either, either, you're, either you believe or you don't believe. And the scripture said, "Can two walk together except they be agreed?" And you can't do it halfway. And you, you can't go halfway. You got to go all the way in. You can't get moderately pregnant. <laughs> you can't get moderately pregnant. I, that, that's a good one. I like that. I like that. Very good. Very good. You see, the, well, that's what it is. It's it's a it's a it's a it's a night and day thing. It's, you know, you can't <clears throat> excuse me. You can't have it your way. You can't make things up. But the scripture also says, uh, don't add or subtract from the scriptures. You know, it says what it says, and it's very clear about what it says. Yeah. We you know, that we got we got to do things his way. And if we don't, That's the only way to do things. There, there, uh, it's called judgment. Some people think, hey, they can just do anything, get away with. Well, that's what that's what they think. Well, God, you got a big problem. <laughs> so, uh, you too. Very interesting. So. How about Simeon Shah put me in front of this preacher? I'm in, the, I'm in the shop right now. You know, hopefully it's still recording. Yeah, it's still recording. Anyway, I'm in the shop right now. Uh, tire, uh, not a tire shop, but you know, whatever shopping. And uh, this man said he was a preacher, and you know, he, you can tell he don't quite understand exactly what the scriptures are saying. He, you know, he's talking about black and white. He's talking about the JEUs. You know, and uh, and and the Muslims and all that, but he really, truly don't understand what the scriptures are saying. But he said a lot. You know, he talked about judgment and uh, sexual immorality and immorality, uh, Salakia for that. You know, and all kinds of other things. Even before I started recording, so I guess this will be uh, uh Bashim Yahusha. You know, I guess this will be a uh, part of the lesson for today. Shalom. All right. Hey, so lucky for what I'm wearing. You know, I'm I'm working, whatever. You know what I'm saying? But uh, uh, he came back in to speak to me, and 
you know, I think, I think the spirit, you know, the, the, the scripture said the spirit does bear witness. And, uh, I think he knew, I think you know, he said he was a Baptist preacher for years or whatever. Okay. You, you know, this, it never stops. It never ends. Right. So I think, I think he read my spirit and knew that I, you know, that I was somebody because he, he, he couldn't stop it. He came back and he didn't, you know, talk to me again. So I thought that was an interesting, uh, conversation. Shalom. All right. Hey, you, so you heard that, <clears throat> Salakia. That was a conversation, you know, I had with this. Uh, and I, I had a feeling that he was a preacher. You know, one of those one of those Edomite preachers don't truly understand the Bible. You know, you heard the conversation that we had and he was rather surprised. He was <laughs> he was super surprised that that I knew the scriptures like that, you know, and I, I was I was quoting him all kinds of scriptures even before. You know, I turned the camera on to record it, right? But this shows you how much they don't know. He went into all kinds of different things, talking about racism when we all come from, from Africa. But he didn't know, you know, uh, that we all come from Jerusalem, as the scripture said. You know, hey, these so-called Christians, this Christianity is full of damn garbage, full of garbage. And they don't understand what's going on. They truly don't. That's why Yahweh Bashem Yahweh has blessed his men that he sent out to teach and preach the word. One more thing. Before I get into it, I guarantee you, he never went out to the highways and byways and taught anybody anything, let alone knows about the Israelites, the chosen, the elect. You see that? This is revelation. But I mean, you know, uh, whoa, whoa, first and foremost, giving all praise, honor and glory to the heavenly father and his only begotten son, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem Rekakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone, of whom I learn from daily. And a healthy shalom to the brothers that are out there doing the work in truth and sincerity. And, and he came back to speak to me. The spirit does bear witness. It does. You know, I perceived that he was a damn Edomite and he really truly didn't understand. Said he was a preacher, you know, but he was, he was really just trying to over talk me, you know, in case you didn't notice that. Anyhow. We're going to hit a couple points, you know, a couple couple scriptures I brought out and a couple things that he, he tried to say in error, right? In error, right? Revelation 11 and verse 12. And they heard a, gro a great voice from heaven saying unto them, come up hither. And they ascended up to the heaven in a cloud and their enemies beheld them. See, that's what Christianity doesn't teach you that, you know, the Israelites have enemies. And the only people that are going to be saved are the Israelites, the, the, the one third, the elect. That's it. Even two thirds of our own people got to fall by the wayside, right? They don't teach you the truth. And I guarantee you, he has no idea who he was speaking to. He has no idea that I knew the Bible like that. That's why he came back. You know, he came back. He was interested to, uh, to hear what I had to say. But then again, he wouldn't let me get a word in edgewise, right? That's Edomite for you. Verse 13, and the same hour was there a great earthquake and the 10th part of the city fell. And in the earthquake were slain men, seven slain, slain of men, 7,000, right? The 10th part of the city is 10 FEMA zones here in Babylon in the good old U.S. of A. And this place is going down. It's going down in a, in a blaze, fervent heat, man. Yahabah Shimei Shah is going to destroy this place. Call hello Yahabah Shimei Shah. Beautiful. He had a chariot just following me home. And uh, my son and I saw it when we got out of the car. It was beautiful. Let's read verse 13 again. Absolutely beautiful. I wish I could get it on camera, but, you know, you know how that works. Sometimes they want to be seen. Sometimes they don't. Let's read verse 13 again. And the same hour was there a great earthquake. And the tenth part of the city fell. And in the earthquake were slain of men 7,000. Number of completion. And the remnant were affrighted and gave glory to the Holy One of Israel, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai. You see that? Let's go here, verse 14, because we that's what we were talking about in the first place, about the third woe coming. And I quoted this, you know. He was like, yeah, it's coming quickly. He said all kinds of different things, but we're just going to go on down the line here. Follow me. Verse 14, the second woe is past, and behold, the third woe cometh quickly that's the third that's the third war the world's war right armageddon one right everybody this this happening right in front of your eyes that's why we say in occupied in prophecies you see 
the, uh, the armies of the earth are being uh, gathered in the valley of Jehoshaphat, you know, or Jehoshaphat, right? Right in front of everybody's eyes, you know? James 2 and verse 5, hearken, my beloved brethren, have not the Most High Yahweh chosen the poor? He talked about, he talked about the poor. See, oppressing the poor. Then he went into Africa. We're not Hamites. You see, I know that's where he was going. That's why he spoke up about all. He spoke up about racism and all this and that. Blah blah blah. Shit. Honestly, he was probably a part of it back in his day. He looked. He was about eighty or ninety years old. He probably seen it. Probably was a part of it. Christianity is nothing more than white supremacy in the first place. You see that? It, you know, that's all it is. It was used to keep us down. Christianity was. But they didn't consider the latter end. They didn't realize that in the end, you know, after three days and a half, the spirit of life fell upon the Israelites, man. The, the chosen, the hopeful elect, right? Yahweh brought the Zama part of that number. They didn't realize that was going to happen. The one percenters did. You see? James 2 and verse 5. Hearken, my beloved brethren, have not the most I chosen the poor of this world rich in faith see that the just shall live by faith and heirs of the kingdom which he have promised to them that love him you see it's all kinds of possessive right here in the bible the christianity they don't teach you that i guarantee you in all those years of him being a preacher all up in the church he never taught that he taught everybody can be saved and uh and in the j word you know and when, he's, and when he says that, you know he's thinking about a uh, Cesare. Hmm? But ye have despised the poor. Do not the rich men oppress, uh, oppress you? See that? And draw you before the judgment seats. The, and they're also the accuser of the brethren, right? You see that right there? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Hopefully this is edifying. It was a very interesting conversation that I had in the shop. Romans 8 and verse 17. Let's go to Salakia. Let's go back here. Yeah, because I, I quoted that before. Very good. The water, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai. Right? Romans 8 and verse 16. The Spirit itself beareth witness with our spirit that we are the children of the living power. You see that? That's why he had to come back. These spirits know us. They know us. That's why they're constantly messing with us, doing all kinds of things. You know? Uh, we, uh, we, we're all having problems, man. You know, a brother, uh, what's his name? Uh, uh, GMS, get your mind right. You know, and he put out, he put it out, you know, on the chat to, uh, to pray uh, for the elder brother, you know, because he, he, he'd been in a, you know, uh, accident or whatnot. And we are to do that daily, regardless. But I pray that that brother gets well and gets well soon. And all his affairs get right back in order as they were before. Okay. Because we love each other. We all we got, man. We all we got. Verse 17, I had to put that in there. It was heavy on my mind, you know, when I heard when I heard his voice, it was heavy on my mind. So, yeah, let's pray for each other daily. That's what it's all about, man. Let's go. Let's go. Verse 17. And if children, then heirs, heirs of the most high power and joint heirs with the Hamashiach Yahushua. You see that? If so, be that we suffer with him, that we may be also glorified together. And who is that we? The Israelites, not everybody. It can't be everybody. You see, that Christianity doctrine is flawed. Where's the, where are the slaves going to come from? Where are the concubines? Where are the, where are the lesser people going to come from? You see that? You understand? Okay, let's keep going. Yep, he went into this. He said, we all come from, we all come from Africa. And that's some bull crap that Esau and Edom taught everybody, right? He said, we all, we all come from Africa. No, we don't come from Africa. We come from Jerusalem. All right? We all come. We all come of Adam. What did he say? He said something about black, white, uh, Arab. You know, <laughs> as the elder says, musty armpit smelling Arabs. The Ishmaelites, right? Okay, let's continue on. <laughs> Salaki, I, I, I always thought that was funny. Second Ezra 6 and verse 54. And after these, I quoted this to him. Yep, that's right. I quoted this to him, if I remember correctly. And after these, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures, of him come we all, and the people also whom thou hast chosen. 
You see, since before the foundations of the earth, thou has chosen. Everybody can't be chosen. Somebody got to play the wicked. Somebody got to play the two thirds. You see that that uh, era, uh, that God loves everybody doctrine is completely flawed. It's upside down, you know, and honestly, it's downright a damn lie. Verse 55, all this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou hast made the world for our sakes. As for the other people, which also come of Adam, thou hast said that they are nothing, but be like unto spittle and has likened the abundance of them uh, unto a drop that falleth from a vessel. See, you see that right there? All the things that you've been taught on this side are absolutely wrong and upside down. And they don't follow Yahweh Shimi Yahweh They follow, they, uh, they listen to man. They've been taught by the precepts of man, right? Nothing more than lies. And they can't understand this Bible because it's not written for them. It's clear to, it was clear to see that just in that little conversation I had with the old man, right? You know, and my spirit did bear witness with him that he is an Edomite because he really, he really didn't want to hear it. I could have went in on him, but I didn't, you know, if you can live peacefully with all men, right? Galatians 4 and verse 26. There we go. That's what I wanted. That's what I wanted right there. But Jerusalem, which is above, is free, which is the mother of us all. You see that? Verse 27. For it is written, rejoice, thou barren that bearest not. Break forth and cry, thou that travaileth not. For the desolate, uh, desolate have Salakia pop ups there. For the desolate have many more children than she which had a husband. Wow. Let's keep going. Let's read verse 28. Now, we brethren, who? We brethren, the Israelites, as Isaac was, 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 are the children of the promise. You see? The children of the promise. He said, Abraham, we're all children of Abraham, but you didn't go into Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You see? He doesn't, he doesn't, he doesn't understand. He has no idea what he was so-called teaching. You know, again, I wasn't going to make this too long. Second Ezra 15 and verse one, behold, speak thou into the ears of my people, the words of what prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord. He put these words in our mouth and it's devouring these people, man. They, they can't take it when they hear these words. You can the spirits jump. They, they the spirits just jump all out of them, man. You can see it. Right. You can see it. They, they say all kinds of perverse and crazy things to us, man. They hate us without cause, right? See, these man, these Christians, so-called Christians, you know, because the original Christians was first in Antioch, right? Which was also called uh, uh, Nigers. You see, it's right there in the scriptures. Read it. Matthew 22 and verse 32. This is red letters. Yahweh Shai speaking. I am the power of Abraham and the uh, and the power of Isaac. And the power of Jacob through Isaac shall thy seed be called, right? Jacob, the progenitor, uh, progenitor, Salakia, of the 12 tribes of Israel. I tried to say that all at one time. It's just coming to my mind so quickly. Call hello, Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai. You see, he taught, he taught me about Abraham. Hey, just, just Abraham? Come on, man. Let's go. All right. Power. Let's read it again. I am the God of Abraham and the God of Isaac and the God of Jacob. God is not the God of the dead, but of the living. And after what? Three days and a half. He laid he laid sinews upon our, our dry bones, man. And they did live. You see, it's right there in the scriptures. It's right there. We're going to close out right here. First Corinthians six and verse nine. Know ye not that the unrighteous because he, he went and what he said, he said it's first Corinthians six when he was, he was talking about fornication and all kinds of different things. And he really doesn't understand what that means. You know, he was talking about, uh, uh, what, what was it? LGBT three POs all, all over the damn place. And he was right about that. You know, he was saying, he was saying they don't, they, they, they won't follow, uh, God's laws and, and uh, Yahweh. I'm a, we're going to say Yahweh, you know? They won't follow Yahweh's laws. He said all kinds of different things. All right. You can rewind it if you want to, you know, hear it again. First Corinthians six and verse nine. Know ye not that the unrighteous, it's like you, 
shall not inherit the, the kingdom of the most high. Be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind. And that is happening all over the place. You know, just just earlier today, walking around in the in the grocery store. You see nothing but uh, uh, but uh, abominations all over the place. This this place is vexing, man. It's disgusting and it's terrible. And Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah is going to destroy it. Call hello Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah. Let's go. Giving all praise, honor, and glory to the heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai Bahashem Rakakwadash. Again, double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone, of whom I learn from daily. Spiritual fathers, see? And a healthy shallow warm to the brothers that are out there doing the work in truth and sincerity. Man, we have we got to get the hell up out of here. It's where everything's waxing worse and worse and worse. But it's gonna get worse before it gets better. So be prepared. Stay occupied in prophecies. All right. Wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy time. Every chance you get, chant this place down. DTA and Kwam Yasharala. Wa a Bible ball. Boom! Shalom.